Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I've got a pretty cool episode for you. Um, I actually got a camera person now, so I'm actually able to stand in the in the video. So, pretty cool. Um, anyway, behind me, I got my garden tractor that y'all have seen plenty of here on the channel. And I've got a little lawn tractor that I've had for a long time. I've just never featured it. Um, but uh, today I'm going to be answering, the, or I'm going to be doing the comparison between my garden tractor here and this lawn tractor that I have. So, um, stay tuned for the episode, and I'll be right back with more about these two. All right, to start off today's episode, um, I want to talk about my garden tractor. Of course, y'all have probably seen plenty of this on the channel, and uh, there's plenty more to come on it in the future. I still haven't talked about all the modifications and upgrades I've done to it, um, but I will on a later video. Today, I'm just showing it off and comparing it to the lawn tractor over there on the other side. Um, so, starting off, this is a 1998 Craftsman GT. Uh, you, you could probably say it's probably about a GT3000. They were uh, pretty much identical but the GT3000 came out in the later years. Um, but this is a late 90s. Um, it has, it's powered by a 22 horsepower Kohler Pro Series V-twin motor. Um, got a lot of torque, very strong engine. Um, it runs like a top. Um, very, th this thing will probably mow and pull just about anything you ask it to as long as it's got the traction and of course the fuel, because <laughs> it likes to drink. Um, anyway, looking down here at the deck, it's got a 50 inch cutting deck. Um, does really good about mowing this field. Um, but it's got, the, it's the three blade setup. Uh, one thing I have uh, had an issue with with this deck is the uh, belt system. Uh, it does like to shred and destroy belts. Um, partly because one of the pulleys locked up one time and the last time I just didn't put it on right. Both were operator error, but then there was one time where it just shredded a belt out of nowhere and I didn't know what was the problem. So um, that is something I'm still working out with this tractor. So far, with the belts I have it on, with the belts I got on it now, we've been doing all right. Back here in the rear end section, it's got a uh, six-speed, high-low range, uh, 633A gearless transaxle. Um, actually, I call it a transmission almost. Um, it's a five-lug, heavy-duty axle. Very strong, bulletproof, can pull just about anything, like I said. Um, it's paired with these uh, D-Stone Super Lug agricultural tires. This thing is pretty much unstoppable when it comes to pulling something. As long as it's got the traction and the weight, well, weight and traction are kind of the same thing. As long as it's got the traction to do it, it will pull it. Um, back here in the rear, you probably notice, what is all this? Well, this is my uh, Sears Craftsman sleeve hitch and my 42 inch scraper blade, a Brindley scraper blade. Um, I use this a lot and I use my box blade a lot. Uh, both of which are very useful implements. And of course, this thing pulls them pretty well. Um, so a pretty cool story about how I even ended up searching for a garden tractor like this and why the LT is even featured here. Um, I was actually given this blade by my grandfather about three years ago, and I didn't really have a use for it until one year for Christmas, my dad was like, hey, I'll get you a sleeve hitch. I didn't have a machine to put it on, so guess who was the candidate? that little gray LT2000 Craftsman over there. So let's go ahead and move over there and I'll talk about that. But um, anyway, that blade started everything you see here. So let me move over here and I'll tell the story in the LT as well as the, and I'll review that. So now that we've uh, talked about the garden tractor, I'm gonna shut up about that. And let's talk about the lawn tractor for some time. Um, this thing has been an absolute workhorse for the years that I've owned it. Um, so I'll talk about the specs of it first, and I'll talk about a little bit more about the story that I have on it. Uh, power, it's powered by an 18.5 Briggs & Stratton Intec single cylinder motor. Uh, very strong little motor for uh, how small it is. Um, like I said, it's only an 18 and a half horsepower. Most residential lawn tractors come with about an 18 to 20 horse motor. So it's right in the middle. Um, it's got a, uh, I don't know exactly what kind of transaxle, but I know it's a hydrostatic. So. Um, Really, it makes makes mowing a lot easier than the old six-speed geared transmission the other one has. Um, hydrostatic, you just kind of just you push the handle and go. Okay, I, you know I struggled with that for a second. But you just push the handle and it'll go. Um, but um, it's got a 42-inch cutting deck, which, like I said, for most smaller yards is just perfect. Um, maybe fitting through your back gate or your neighbor's yard, perfect because. 
not all fence gates are big enough to fit a 46 or even a 50 inch like what's on my tractor over there. So that's why um, lawn tractors like this are more useful for stuff like that. Um, now this is a 2005 Craftsman LT2000 model. Um, and uh, keyword LT, lawn tractor. Um, and of course on the garden tractor you got GT. Uh, pretty obvious. But um, anyway, going back to the story that I was talking about with the scraper blade. I was given a scraper blade and I got a sleeve hitch. Well, this mower just happened to be the only mower I had that uh, could uh, have a sleeve hitch put on it. So I uh, bolted the sleeve hitch up back here on the back and I used this mower as my garden tractor for about two years. And then I finally get started getting a little bit tired of having to worry about will it be able to do something after telling someone, hey, yes, I can. Well, then that started a search. And eight months later, I came home with a garden tractor. And uh, you want to hear a story on that, I can do a different episode about that. But um, anyway, like I said, this was a good, strong workforce. And then once it started, once I finally started looking for a garden tractor, I will uh, actually pause the story. I'm going to put a picture of this LT right now with the sleeve hitch on it, the blade on it, and the deck on it after the day I rebuilt it. So let me put the picture in here and I will catch you right back in a second. All right, so now you get a little idea of what I used to put this thing through. And um, of course, like I was explaining, that the sleeve hitch is a little bit bent up, it's a worn, because it doesn't just, it didn't just serve me after I got the garden tractor, it served me before on the back of this mower here. And um, with this weak hydrostatic trans transmission it has in it, I'm surprised it lasted that long. I mean, it had a heck of a whine, but it did, it did really good. And um, it actually made me a couple hundred bucks on a gravel job that I needed to level out for a neighbor. Worked pretty good uh, for this little lawn tractor. And it's not very heavy. It probably weighs about 800 pounds. The garden tractor probably weighs at least twice that. So when it comes to traction and stuff like that, the garden tractor definitely wins. But when it comes to like more smaller uses, maybe mowing your mom's backyard in the middle of a neighborhood somewhere, that's where you want an LT because they're smaller, they're lighter duty, and they're easier to get into small, tight spaces. That garden tractor, I can't fit it through gates. I can't fit it through, I can't fit it through uh, places this thing could go. So that's why, that's why I keep the both of them around because that's too big to go some places. This is too small to mow the field here. So I keep them both around and I use them both a lot. Um, the LT, like I said, it was retired in a barn for about eight months now, uh, just because I had no use for it over the summer. Because I have, a, I have another, I have a newer Sears mower that I use, um, which I'll tell you now, I have a 2017 Craftsman. That thing has broken down more times than both of these have combined. So that's a testament to old machinery. And yes, I will admit, I did have a lot of issues with the garden tractor when I first bought the deck for it. And that comes to say, or comes without needing to say, it's old, what do you expect, you know? <laughs> so, once I got all the issues ironed out with it, it mows and cuts beautifully. I've mowed with it for about three hours straight before, and it did beautifully, except run out of gas. But that, that comes with uh, the three gallon gas tank it has. It, it drinks fuel, especially with the two cylinder motor. But um, anyway, back to the video, I ramble on a lot. <laughs> You'll learn that about me. But um, anyway, in my opinion, a garden tractor is always going to be better for you, but it depends on what you're using it for. If you need grounding, if you're going to be disking a garden, or maybe plowing a garden with a malboard plow, or you're going to be mowing three, four, maybe five acres. I have seven here. So that's where a garden tractor is really useful. Um, it's a lot bigger, a lot stronger, a lot heavier duty built. Okay, So that's why I would choose a garden tractor over this LT any day. But let's say I have to, I don't have all this acreage and I just have a small house in a neighborhood. That's where I'd want an LT because like I said, they're smaller, more nimble, easier to use sometimes because this has hydrostatic, of course, it doesn't kill you when you try to shift. You can just ease of, ease of moving the shifter or the, the hydrostatic arm back and forth, okay? So when it comes to these two, they're both equally useful machines. And these have both served me very well over the years. 
and I don't plan on getting rid of them anytime soon. So if y'all have any questions for me about any of these two, put them down in the comments below and let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, like I said. Let me know what you think of the video. Hit the like button if you like the video. And uh, subscribe for more videos maybe like this or more videos about either of these mowers. Comment below your video ideas. I'm running out of ideas, so I need some help from you guys. Um, <laughs> real quick at the end of this video, I'd like to say a special thank you for 50 subscribers. I noticed that uh, a couple days ago. My friend said, hey, Josh, you're at 49 subscribers. And I asked him, hey, are you subscribed yet? And they're like, no. And I'm like go subscribe, then I'll be at 50. So um, we've officially hit 50 subscribers, my family. And um, you go uh, check out my Instagram. I'll put that in the description and I'll put my camera girl's Instagram down in the description. Uh, very, uh, very good job, thank you. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you next time, somewhere out, somewhere out here. I'll catch you next time, thanks for watching.